Hello everyone, today I will be analyzing the possible plastic surgery procedures of the members of Bay 173. This was requested in the comment section of my Cravity Plastic Surgery Analysis video. If you have any requests which group you want to see me analyze, please leave it in the comments. I think plastic surgery is neither bad or good, and celebrities have immense pressure to look as good as they possibly can which can be helped by plastic surgery. I think it will be a healthier environment if celebrities in general are more open and honest about plastic surgery and cosmetic procedures that they've done, or at least not lie about it, so the general public can see that beauty is attainable through plastic surgery. I know there's a stigma around plastic surgery all around the world, but people need to realize that it's pretty common among celebrities, as it's demanded by society that celebrities look perfect, so we shouldn't blame them if they resort to plastic surgery. I want this video series to be a form of discussion between people who are interested in the possible procedures celebrities had, and break the negative sentiment around plastic surgery. I assume that many celebrities, including K-pop idols, have done some sort of cosmetic procedures because their occupation demands them to look as good as they possibly can. I may be totally wrong about this assumption as I don't know what goes on behind the scenes. A few disclaimers before we begin. I'm not a plastic surgeon, nor have I gotten plastic surgery, so my knowledge in this area is limited. These are just my speculations and not facts. I have no idea about the member's medical history, and these are just my speculations, so you can respectfully disagree. This post is not meant to send hate to the members, as they are probably pressured by the industry to look as good as they possibly can. With that out of the way, let's get started. Starting with Jamin, I couldn't find many pretty big photos of Jamin, and he looks like he was old enough to get plastic surgery in the pretty big photos available, so I might miss some procedures. I think he likely got a rhinoplasty, and have probably already gotten a rhinoplasty in the pretty big photos. I think this way because his nose looks overprojected in the side profile view, and we can see a clear separation of the bridge of his nose from the rest of his nose. His nose bridge is also perfectly straight, which doesn't usually occur in nature, and is likely caused by a nose implant. In conclusion, I think Jamin likely got a rhinoplasty. I personally think the possible rhinoplasty wasn't necessary, as his nose looks unnatural to me. He looks great regardless. I love his strong jawline. Moving on to Hangul. Hangul has a lot of adorable pretty big photos online. He has always been handsome. He participated in a few survival shows. I'm glad he is finally able to debut in a permanent group. I don't think there are changes to his face that are likely due to plastic surgery. In conclusion, I think Hangul is likely natural. He has always been good looking his entire life. He's truly blessed with good looks. Moving on to Yujun. Yujun has always been handsome since pre-debut. It does look like he was old enough to get plastic surgery in the pretty big photos available, so I might miss some procedures. He didn't seem to change at all from the pretty big photos. I also don't see possible signs of plastic surgery on his face. In conclusion, I think Yujun is likely natural. He has always been handsome. He's truly blessed with good looks. Moving on to Mujin. I couldn't find pretty big photos of Mujin, so my speculations will probably be inaccurate and I might miss some procedures. I think he may have gotten a rhinoplasty, as his nose bridge is separated from the rest of his nose. I don't have proof of this though, and it's totally possible that's how his nose naturally looks like, so I will put it as a possibility. In conclusion, I think Mujin possibly got a rhinoplasty, though I'm really unsure about this. He's truly handsome. I love his eyes and full lips. Moving on to Junso. I couldn't find pretty big photos of Junso, which is why my speculations will purely be based on how his face currently looks. This means my speculations are probably inaccurate, and I might miss some procedures. To me, it's likely that he got a rhinoplasty, as his nose bridge is really separated from the rest of his nose. From the side profile view, his nose bridge and the bottom of his nose form perfectly straight lines. These are usually signs of a nose implant. In conclusion, I think Junso likely got a rhinoplasty. I don't have free to be photos to compare with though, so I'm probably missing some procedures and my speculations may be inaccurate. He looks great now. He's truly blessed with good looks. Moving on to Yongso. I couldn't find many pre to be photos of Yongso, and the pre to be photos I found looks like he was old enough to get plastic surgery. 
so I might miss some procedures. He didn't look to have changed at all compared to the pre-DB photos. To me, his nose looked small for the proportions of his face. There's a possibility that he already got a rhinoplasty in the pre-DB photos. It's also totally possible that it's just how his nose naturally is. I'm really unsure about this, so I will put it as a possibility. In conclusion, I think young Sol possibly got a rhinoplasty. I'm not too sure about this though, as I don't have enough reliable pre to be photos to compare to. He has always been handsome. He's truly blessed with good looks. Moving on to Doha. Doha used to be a child actor, so there's quite a lot of pre to be photos of him online. He has always been handsome and didn't seem to have changed at all. I personally don't see changes to his face that are likely due to plastic surgery. In conclusion, I think Doha is likely natural. He has always been handsome. He's truly blessed with good looks. Moving on to Bid. Bid has adorable childhood photos online. He has always had large eyes and nose. He lost a lot of facial fat, which was probably caused by weight loss. Recently, his nose looks smaller. I think he got alar base reduction. This procedure makes the base of the nose narrower, which in turn makes the entire nose look smaller. In conclusion, I think Bit likely got alar base reduction. I think the possible procedure was really well done and enhances looks nicely. He has always been handsome. I love his unique visuals. Last but not least, we have Dohyun. Dohyun has a lot of adorable childhood photos online. He lost a lot of weight since childhood, which brings out his bone structure as he aged. I personally don't see changes to his face that are likely due to plastic surgery. In conclusion, I think Dohyeon is likely natural. He was an adorable child and grew up to be really handsome. He's truly blessed with good looks. I'm glad that Dohyeon along with Hangyo can debut in a permanent group. I wish all the best things for the group. They're truly underrated. Remember, when I do these analysis, I'm always at a neutral position. I don't think plastic surgery is bad nor good. So let's not spread unnecessary hate towards the members or my opinions. I hope anyone watching this takes this post in a positive way and realize that plastic surgery is not a bad thing. You need to understand that K-pop idols and other celebrities have a lot of pressure to look good. So it's not a bad thing if they resort to plastic surgery as it is demanded by society. As I stated in the beginning, this is not meant for fuel to send hate towards the members. Thank you for watching this video, and see you in the next one.